Hey folks, welcome back to Aloft. I'm just sitting here looking at one of the last things that needs to be moved from the old island to the new island. Yeah, that and the map table. Run back in here and see this place for one of the last times. I've moved pretty much everything out of here. Cleared out the granary and all of the, the equipment and storage just have this guy left so <clears throat> not sure where to put it yet gotta think about that I thought well last time I suggested maybe we uh, play with the idea of a wow you can't jump down that <laughs> I hit my head a gazebo and I think that'd be a great idea but um I got to thinking and by the way, this has been shifting. Uh, I was doing some work around here and came back, and this thing was up in the air up here. Now it has gone below the staircases, so the island does move with the wind. But I was thinking about... Well, we, we talked about maybe a gazebo out there, and i still like to build that, whether that goes there or not. Or possibly somewhere in here, but I got to thinking something like that should probably be on the command deck. I would think that that's something that goes right in here. And before we do take off and go explore more islands, I want to rebuild this somehow. I think the double-decker thing is, is probably going to happen. So that <clears throat> all of these things are mounted much higher up. These are higher. And down here is things are things like that map table. And the helm. And whatever else looks um, captain-y. That needs to be in here. Otherwise, I have gone through and done quite a bit since last episode. Figured things out, tore them up, redid them, and made it, I think, a very functional um, model here now. So all of the stairs that take off from it have been rebuilt to align with this building here. I've found or created a way to get up to the second floor because the second floor is where all the... Uh, the uh, construction or, or crafting happens. So down here is probably going to be some kind of a kitchen area. And don't know what to do back over here. <clears throat> Sealed that off a little bit. Thought it would look better that way. Came up here. Got our, our uh, research bench. And then all of the storage. At least one of everything in here. With leftovers or, or overflow down over here in a little barn like structure I threw off to the side yeah so rock and logs are going to stack up faster than we can use them so and then I snuck a tiny little staircase over here to get up to the third floor which took a lot of work because I couldn't get past right here so I had to bust out the roof a little bit and kind of tweak it uphill just a little <laughs> It's fun playing with this construction system. It really is. There's so many ways to move these little pieces around and, and make it happen. So that third floor up in here, I claimed that half as a bedroom. I think that looks pretty good. Kind of boxed in part of the stairs and left the rest of them exposed out here. And need to figure out how to do skylights. Really do. But it was just announced today that there is an update coming and they have got a whole bunch of furnishings that they've been working on enough to be able to create a, a photo I pop it up on the screen here of uh, of what they're doing and they're going to be available soon to uh, let us try them out in a playtest um, server so I don't know I, I probably won't dive into that for this series I don't want to risk corrupting a save file to a play test with bugs that may compromise it permanently I don't know I'm not building that again <laughs> but through this guy in here thought uh, oh kind of that that barn roof look well, at least half of one um, got those out there I had to figure out where to put this stuff there's not a lot of surfaces that would work that I want to waste you know I want gardens out here in the sunlight and things like that I don't want uh, more too many more buildings around this little pond here 
but the gazebo would look good and we have enough pieces to make that work. What's on me right now? I got enough to play around with it. We won't build it right now, but we'll let me lay out some ideas that I had and let me know what I'm thinking. If we were to grab a square and we got to deal with taking trees down to redo this right. I don't want to take the time to do that yet, but I'm thinking it's make a cross pattern like this and then go back in with these guys so you are there I'll just keep hitting Q and come on there you are nope that didn't work that's what I needed there and there so that gives us the basic shape of a gazebo I'm not sure how to make the roof do what I want though um, I did learn something though back with the other structure the other house there was one cornered wall <clears throat> and I realized I couldn't put a wall in there because that distance right there is only to about there you know the the long side of a triangle is longer than the, the two uh, short sides so I did find that we can go to manual snap not disabled snap but manual and then as you roll the mouse button not take that back oh interesting I didn't know that went up and down ah see, see the pivot in the middle as you roll the mouse button they will pivot around that axis so there's even more flexibility and placements but the E in this case will take diagonals unlike automatic which is just straights or you know 90 degrees this will put go into diagonals so you can drop into there and then put in a half wall into the rest of it and then back to a full wall like so it's not precise it does I don't know I've seen gaps and I've seen what have you but it does give you the ability to create that kind of a structure I'm not sure yet how to work with the roofing on this one. That's going to take some time. I don't have a triangular piece to go up over the top of these guys. So, got to figure that out. We could try just putting, hmm, roofs right there. Let's, see, let's go back to automatic again, right there. So, yeah, we need one and a half. This one's easy, right there. But this one, we're going to do some funky overlapping up there. So I'm not sure how to make the gazebo roof yet. That one's going to be probably experimenting with a lot of little tiny pieces, just filling in jigsaw puzzles until we, we get it figured out. And it may, it may work that way, too. Anyway, that is something coming up. I'm not going to commit to it right now we got a lot of trees to take down and, and something else that I had heard I haven't proved it yet <clears throat> in fact I, we can prove it right now um, where am I I am this way I've heard that <clears throat> if you cut down trees but leave the stumps they will grow right back so I needed a lot of wood is that it wow it's sunk completely now stairs aren't even showing anymore yeah, there might be a time when that thing just rips free, I don't know. Anyway, where am I looking? It's down and around. Um, it's down by the original uh, learning stone, if I can remember where that is. Right there? I think that's it right there. I took a lot of trees down to build this place, the, the big salt box place. Took trees down all through this area right here. Left all the stumps. And there is still no trees and a bunch of stumps okay so I don't know if it's true or not I'll have to I'll have to maybe come back and explore and visit this place and see if that forest returned otherwise we need to figure out how to get wind power into the new building and think about that command deck and I've had a couple people write in asking about the oh what's the official word for these guys the beacons okay like marking stones is what I would call them but the beacons and a reminder thank you that it takes the spyglass 
to see them. In fact, does it say that in the description? Oh, there it is right there. It can be seen through the spyglass. So, <clears throat> what is our closest island to here? Besides the two that we're on. Let's get up somewhere real tall. I wonder where I can find a place like that. Yeah. Wow, that's a roof. <laughs> I mean, that's a roof. Okay, so nearest little island. He's kind of far away there. I think that guy? That guy. Yeah, we've been there many times. Um, what's it take to build one of these guys? I want to put one out and just see. I didn't look, but I have what I need. Okay. And I noticed that four of them have... Uh, okay, don't do that. There. Five of them. If you look... See, can you guys see that? Yeah. Down at the bottom right over there. Five of them have little symbols. I'm assuming those are letters or numbers or some kind of symbol within the, the language system of this place. The other ones do not. So I don't know if we're going to see those symbols floating out there when we come back and look through the spyglass or, or just what. Let's head up there while there's still some light left. And see how this works. One more. Woohoo! And we'll just coast right on in. Now, this is one with the three little goats. That's right. Um, Ace and Finley? What were the names? You're over here? Yeah. We've got Ace. We've got Finley. And we have Eden. That's right. And more poo. No, I didn't mean to pick you up. Hello. Big snout. All right. Put you back down. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, let's set up a... Grab our future fertilizer. A beacon on here. Where to? And drop. Okay. Right here. So... I don't know that there is a rhyme or reason as to which one to choose. These five have symbols. These do not. I don't know how they work. Or if they're just decoration and they threw them in here anyway. I don't know. But let's put this guy here just to see if... Where's our island? Can it be seen from this side? I don't think that's it. We must be off to that side over there. But we'll drop you here. And spyglass at this point does what? Yeah, great big beacon. Uh huh. Emerald Island. That's our island. So Emerald Island claims this? Is that what that represents? Don't know. Let's head out over here. Home is below us. It's not over there. That's a single island. Home must be right down there. There we go. Okay. So S to drop. Right click to slow down. And we're here. Hello. Yeah. So, that is right up there. Can we... S I see a bright light. I think that's... Oh, that's my pointer. <laughs> my little reticule in the middle. Okay, eight. What does this do? Let's try that again. Okay, what am I missing here? Did it just show up a lot brighter? When before when we were looking, they just kind of vanished. I want to get up high. Um, I think I can get there from here. Yeah. Okay. You're bright, whereas you are bright also. Emerald Island. Emerald Island. Um, that has a symbol underneath. Okay, what do you want to call that? A gate? What's the gate that goes in front of the city of olden days? You'd walk through the, uh, I guess, 
the city entrance, the, the, the city gate. That's kind of what that symbol would represent to me. So that symbol is what we get when we do that. Okay. So that one could go away because it's not going to be an important island later. But that means we need to put a beacon on this. Though this already gives us a house symbol. So at this point I'm still not really getting the point of why. But eventually I guess we'll just have to, I don't know, allow those great uh, a system by which those symbols mean something to us. Yeah, something like that. And I just looked over and saw that I've only been recording for 16 minutes. And earlier I paused the video and never unpaused it. So you guys have missed a lot of fun stuff and I have been talking to myself like an idiot. So <laughs> I guess a, a little recap will, will be a thing here. Um, this is Rowan, everybody. Yes. And Leo. And Micah. And Madison. And Madison and, and Rowan lay eggs. So I've got a couple of them there. And I'm not actually sure when it was that I paused it. What was I doing? I don't know. So I will recap many things. I've been recording for an hour. Darn. Um, let's go over here. We brought these guys over. Ace. We've, we've met these guys before. Eden. And... You are stuck in the water. Okay, so right over here, and turns out we can milk Finley. Don't know if you were here when I made the bucket, but we now have this guy, wooden bucket on us. Just hit the, the well for me it's a six to bring it up, and then click, and we've got three milk from Finley. And then the bucket no longer has the milk in it, I found out uh, the hard way, because if I click it again, I give Finley a bath. And apparently you do that to water your crops. You just lost some clean water. So I need to get the clean water off of me and get some dirty water on me and gather the poo. So I have been to two islands. I have put feed in the trough. And I just got the last of the birds from that, that one island that is circular with the learning stone in the middle and we saw the birds on it so things that we've already seen i'm just kind of catching up on old stuff but yeah, it's a shame that um see i can build that uh, let's go this way i've already got the stuff on me to build it that i didn't get to show all of that to you that's this video recording software has the ability to pause right in the middle of a video without having to stop one and start over again which is really convenient but every once in a while that catches me off guard and I forget that I did it um, build a there trough and put in the trough some bird seed now these guys will come over here and eat and they'll take care of themselves we've got water over here Though, I think they have a hard time getting back out of it. So, I've got to figure that out. Finley was kind of stuck in the water there for a while. So, what else did I do? Were you guys here for setting up the map table? I think that's about the time I paused it, isn't it? Let's see if I can sneak up there. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, we'll go the long way. Um, you might not have seen this then. I just experimenting through a ribbon down to the mill and found that I can put any of the vegetables which is really weird let's see scroll back up any of the vegetables will make bird seed so let's put a stack of 10 in there of a potato seed of course you can click on this and get it oh I have to click when it's going I have to hit the F there we go. When it's like so, click. And it will complete the bird seed as well as speed it up. Or you can just sit here and let it do its thing. Or you can put a bunch of bird seed in there and walk away. And come back and collect it later. Anyway, bird seed then 
looks like this grain food for your pheasant friends and you can go over there and feed them so they are on the opposite side of this waterfall right over here let's top that off that's there so I was gonna go back to the island one more time and just verify that there's nothing else waiting for me um, eggs that got left behind Is that our old island no that's the one with the three where am I going the three islands uh, up big time up there and big time down and slow down boom okay so I was gonna go through here and just make sure that I got all of them that nothing got left behind as far as eggs as far as baby pheasants that would be horrible and I think that is a baby tree so that means you guys weren't here for planting were you hmm yeah let me just do this so I'm not okay so I think we're okay over here we'll leave this one behind so a question had come up we were on the island with the goats and the island of the goats has a few spots like this where the um, tomato no the carrots were formed or were, were found and the, the question came up can we plant in those spots using this tool I know we can plant trees um, let's get into there seeds are down here there were carrots on the one that we saw you load the carrots into your toolbar and then you pull them up into your hand but nothing happens I can't interact these require the farming plots to compare put in a chestnut seed into there and pull it up into your hand and it asks you where you want to plant it so that's how those work so everything else will need some kind of an official planting bed these guys can go anywhere they don't even need to be in a plot like that you can just pop them in so you can populate a whole meadow build a grow a forest so that is that so sorry about that you missed you missed some great jokes and <laughs> never before seen things on YouTube and it's all lost to history yeah um what am I doing I am grabbing you dropping you back into here and we'll call this guy done so yeah officially I've only been going for 20 minutes now so I guess we can get a lot more into this episode <laughs> Um, grab anything, get our delete button. Let's leave these here. I, I could not get this island any closer than that. And no matter how I pulled in and maneuvered, it's almost like there's some invisible barriers between the islands. And I won't let you touch them. So, I guess the idea of crashing your, your island into another one really isn't much of a thing yet. So, I could, I had to build a, uh, who are you? Hello, Ace. I had to... Yeah, pick up Ace. And... Pet Ace. Yeah. <laughs> Ace happy. Um, so I had to build that, that deck. To be able to go and do that. Now, map table. We've seen pretty much everything there. I wish there was an in-between here and here. There isn't. We've seen all of these now. Nothing else is showing up in our area. So I think flying out there is not going to make something show up if we know about these. So I was originally heading this way. Let's go see what these are. And can we find them? So there's the storm. So here facing the storm they are left of the storm so face actually no yeah facing the storm they're out over there so if I were to I guess just pull away so I don't make contact over there and swing we'll go forward and one thing I noticed or noted while you guys were not with me is that the yellow of the sail down below there it disappears it did that last episode too, or two episodes ago, when I was trying to dock with our island and our original island. There's the two. No, those are just rocks floating around. 
Okay. And it it kept moving, and I thought that I had zeroed it out, and it showed that it was zeroed out, though now it's going to prove me a liar. There it goes. The yellow just disappeared. I didn't slow down. We're still going forward. That's an island right over there, isn't it? Hell, I can't quite tell. So let's pull it out. There is a flash there. Um, storm is there. So I'm going the right direction. We've got a bunch of clouds right in between us, though. Interesting. Let's pull off of this and watch ourselves in motion here. So if we're still sitting right there, then there is a long way to go to get there. Interesting. So let's go full sail into whatever this is. Wonder if that is... Well, I guess it's just cloud formations. It's kind of coming and going. There's two islands right in front of us. Just coming into view of those. Now, there are islands that are closer. There were some that I was able to see a black dot after the flash went away. But I'm guessing it means that they're like right over here. And I don't want to go into that middle ring yet. Let's explore the outer ring for a while. See if we get to a point where we just start repeating uh, islands. Specific islands that are beginner islands. Maybe. Now we've got the wind hitting us from behind. So the sails... No, they're kind of blowing this direction. You are blowing the correct way. The wind's hitting us from behind. And you can see, oh, these little particles, wind particles going the direction of the wind. Kind of. Okay. All right, so flash, flash. Let's go off this way. So I'm seeing many islands there. The flash on the right has two. And the one on the left has one. And over there, there's three of them. All right, so let's see if we are showing up on here yet. We still have hardly moved. Wow. Yeah, me trying to fly over to this side to see what's over there by glider. That was not going to work, was it? Yeah. Um, there's nothing immediately in front of us. We're not turning. We're not rising or falling. I'm curious to know what happens if I go to sleep. How much time truly goes by? And what happens to us? So, maybe this is crazy. I don't know. But standing there in the dark, jabbering to myself, probably isn't the best thing to do. Okay, jump up and let's go. Um, we'll pop out this door. Though I want to be right over there and I can't. i got to build a way to get from here to there. Yeah, we need to uh, we need to connect the command deck to like the second floor. All right, what has happened here through the night? There's something right up there. What is that? Nothing in front of us. We have moved some. There is a long way to go. Wow. A huge distance in this game. Probably time to build some more sails. Huh. So sail, we've got just enough to get us moving, and that's kind of it. We're on we're on the starter ship of the of the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm only hitting warp one point one. Okay, well. Another sail. Now you've rotated quite a bit from where I placed you originally. That one too. Uh, wind is right in from behind us. So the sail rotation doesn't really seem to represent that. So I don't know how realistic they're going to be. This guy is stopped because we aren't turned into the wind. Oh interesting yeah there needs to be a way to dial in a direction here it really does and that's probably been suggested and that's probably coming so where to put another sail let's just let this guy run for a while we can drop into here 
there I am. Up to the second floor. And this feels like it's getting quite laggy. So I might need a restart. I've been running for a while. <laughs> um, nothing in here. Nothing in there. I've only got 18 of those left. So let's grab some leaves. Don't need to do that. Remember that. It's already loaded in. Okay, so give me this and let's grab all 50 of them. Alright, got you. I've already got planks and they're already available to me just by being on the island. Okay. So, another sail just plopped onto here for now. So we're going to rebuild all this later. Let's do that. So, a diagonal in between these two points. Like that. So, build. And sail. The big one. Right there. Interesting. So, Q and E is forcing it that way. Let's go to manual mode and get that one back. Okay. Oh, now we got to go to free mode if I want to move it where I want it. Okay. So you're going to go there. And that's probably suddenly going to start going faster, so i got to be aware of that. And... Oh, I'm still adjusting over here. Sorry. <laughs> there... And there. I thought, where'd it go? I want to put another one in. Okay, so you're right about there. All the way up. All the way out. Okay. So with that, what have we got? Did that not move? That didn't move. Okay, slowing it back down. Pull out restart. Yeah, the yellow... Oh, the green. I was looking at the yellow. Okay. So the green did go up quite a bit. Yellow is rudder, and the other is lift. Okay. So, our islands... Kind of a blur thing going on over there. No, it went away. So the islands we're heading to are right there. Let's see if anything has shown up on here that's changing things. Ah, we're getting closer. There are two little islands next to each other there. In one. And at this rate, it's going to be about three episodes from now by the time we get there. Uh, wind is blowing harder. From the back, 99 knots. So, are we still going forward? We're not. So let's use this. So we're going 12 knots, 14 knots. Wind is shifting. Let's watch that for a while. According to this, the wind is directly behind us. And it's spinning us. Why are we... No, it's not spinning. Those rocks are moving sideways. Okay. But we... Yeah, we're still heading for the two islands right over there. We'll turn a little. In fact, now I can't see them anymore. Turn a little further. There we go. Now I can see them. Wow. We're going 18 knots. Wind's getting a little wild. Sails are, are inflated in various directions. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're trying. They're trying. So apparently this guy is put in backwards. Yeah. So they should all be... Maybe that's what it means with the ship. Aim so that forward is forward. That could be what that means. How far have we got to go? We've got a long ways to go. We can go ahead and play with these guys a little bit then. So let's sail you. And get rid of you. And you look like you're the right direction now. And rotate... Like so. Drop you in right over there. 
take you to the top and take you sideways. And just by changing one, did that do anything for us? 18 knots, 19 knots. Okay. Wind's going 124 knots. Wow. So let's do... So you two are correct. You're correct. Let's take out this guy and the one in the middle. Alright, you're correct now and right... and right there. All the way to the top, all the way out to four. And you as well? Yeah. Like so. All the way up and all the way sideways. Alright, did that gain us more than 18 knots? 25 knots. I think that helped. Okay. Wow. It is really raining. So what does it look like to have the island moving like this? I think we get rid of these guys and put the big ones in. Now, officially, you wouldn't want sails stacked in front of each other, of course, because that one's not getting any wind because this is catching it all. But it works for the game and until we get the... Uh, the new system put in the new command deck but you can go off to the side again like that and up to the top and out and do the same thing over here storm is about over great so even without a storm we're holding 22 knots so that helped out a lot got something going on right here those are islands. And there is a vortex right between us and that one over there on the left. Alright, let's pull you off. Let's come in between them and see if we can miss that vortex. Something like that. Full sail. And I guess we can go ahead and drop some, some height. Get you guys above the, uh, the steering wheel here. What's the wheel called on a ship? Just the wheel? I'm not sure. Steering wheel makes me think of a, of a car. And yeah, maybe a small boat. But I don't think a ship, this would be called a steering wheel. Now, with it dropping, I don't think I want to walk away. Let's just sit back and watch that come in. Okay, I'm seeing something here. That looks like a flock of birds. And they look huge compared to that island. Okay, what's... what's... hmm. I mean, is that something that they're going to attract to our island and start flying over it and land? I don't know. Let's pull up on our downward descent. And looks like we're going to miss the vortex this way, but the birds are stuck in the vortex. Is that what's going on? They seem to be centered around that. Huh. Well, we'll get in a little bit closer, see if we can see them, see what, what they are. And maybe we can attract them. It does look like a corrupted island over there. And then we got two... Now there's birds over around those two as well. Were there birds around any of those other islands? I don't remember now. Now, does this guy make contact? Boom. He kind of crashed through the trees. I did, at one point, while I was building all this, looked up and noticed... A rock was just kind of stuck in here, tumbling around, stuck in that tree. So there is some interactivity with it and other objects, which means it might be able to tear right through our sails. Alright, so you're over there. Let's slow down, or at least let's spin in. See what's with these birds. Are you guys just going round and round this vortex? And can I save you? Okay. 
That one's getting closer. Let's go a little bit further in. Like so. And let's stop our forward about there. Let's drop down a little bit more. Get... Yeah, now we're up around bird level. So we'll stop with that. Pull out. And what can we learn here? Alright, well, you see my island. You could interact with it if you wanted to. Unless you're really stuck in this circular pattern. You apparently are. Okay, so I guess that's just uh, interesting decor. Some flavor. Oh! No! <laughs> I just about dropped and instead the tree clipped me and so instead of dropping I opened my wings back up. Okay. So you are... Where did I just see the island? I was just looking at it. But I was looking at it while I was flying. Okay. Where are you? Are you really so far down that I can't see you? Oh, you're right over here. Right underneath us. Okay. So you were going to skip right now. Well, I hate to do that. Let's just go to sleep. And that way we start the daylight over again. In the water. Alright, how you guys doing? We've got... Oh, we've got a goat over here visiting the birds. Okay. So, I wonder if there's going to be nesting boxes eventually. I would I would guess that's probably a, a fair assumption. So the eggs all land in, in a certain place. And jump across. Um, I'm trying to go that way, actually. Yeah, we'll just have to get wet. Over here, still have some hay in there. You guys go through a lot of hay. So I may have to put multiple feeders out just so don't have to uh, worry about that on a daily basis. Okay, let's go make the sun come back. And before then, though, let's let's work with our fire that never seems to end. I wonder if it will burn and burn and burn until the sun, the rain puts it out. That's why that one on the oh, were you there? You weren't there. <laughs> The island where we found the birds. Yeah, in that little tunnel. There was still a lit fire. So, which was strange. And I, I, all the fires that I've seen so far, the ones outside on that first island, by the three planters, and every time it rained it went out, so I had to keep restarting it. This one doesn't seem to need to be fed. But what I'm staring at this thing for is this guy. The cooking plate, a versatile cooking station, goes on the on the fire. You get a bigger fire, you can get, I think, five or six of these around. So, here, put in three ingredients and see what they make. It's pretty much it. And I don't know how we're going to memorize. So, garlic and egg and not bone meal garlic and egg and what some flour all right hold the f and what just happened i burnt it to a crisp <laughs> milk garlic flour all right so Hold the F and stop. No? Okay, what am I missing here? Are you, are you saying you've got to maintain it in here? Maybe that's what's going on. And that is the... Is this like the fishing game in Stardew Valley? And it is. You've got to maintain... So you've got to cook. Okay. Yeah, take that. <laughs> okay, well, we've experienced cooking. Broth, basic meal made from liquids and seasonings. 
and gives us 10 hit points and 20 stamina for 8 minutes. Stamina consumption reduced. Hydrated. Okay. And you, an overcooked meal burnt to a crisp. HP plus 6 for 2 minutes. Yeah. The composter, I think you can get rid of burnt meals. Turn them into manure. Let's bring the sun back. Then we'll use that meal to give us some, some bonus for the battle coming up to clear that island. Just in case there's something different with the, uh, the enemies here compared to there. Uh, down this way, up this way, think things through one more time. You are actually down over here. There you are. Okay, only one node. Sword. Still good. And let's do this. Down. Slow. And let's drop off right into this little clearing. I hear ya. I didn't eat the meal. I didn't eat the meal. So three seem to come and greet you each time. Um, tab. E. There we go. Now I got some bonuses on me. You guys are boom booms. You're a boom boom. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, you guys are a little bit higher at level. But that should mean that I get... Oops, cleared the pathway. Now go over to the boom booms. Hey, knock that off. What are you? Oh, you're a dying bad guy. All right. Alright, I guess that's it. Um, I could have cleared this out immediately, but I, I want to get as much of the... the... Michter fiber as I can. Alright. Ground pound? There? Ground pound. I don't remember a ground pet. Ooh. Did I just earn these, or did they just add something to the game? They were only the first four last time. Still the same there and the same there. So, am I truly clear here? I am. Okay. Um, no. You. There. So, a leap. Hold left to charge your attack. Aim at a faraway enemy until it glows blue. Then release to leap forward on the enemy and perform a heavy blow. Ah. Jump while leaping to chain up... Chain an upsplash on hit. Oh, that just got complicated. Alright. So hold to charge. Press space when you... When close to an enemy to perform an upslash. Sending you both airborne. Yeah, I never remember these things in these games. I just go in there and keep clicking until I win. <laughs> Crown pound, press control. I'd have to stop and say, okay, where's the... Oh, I'm dead. While airborne to land a devastating ground attack with a large area effect. Interesting. Okay, when you guys play it, let me know how those work. Okay. Um, got tomatoes. Cool. And now that we've got the meals and the ability to make grains out of vegetables, we need to get into gardening soon and get large quantities of these so I can just set them all to uh, uh, to make bird seed and what have you. Okay, we have a spot down there. Let's go see what is available to learn here. Oh, the wooden wall rounded. That came earlier than I thought it was. Nice. 
So there is a rounded wall that maybe can interact with our gazebo. Bones, good. Need to find bones that make your better weapons. So I think I've seen everything on this one. What we didn't do is get all the sick animals from those original islands. There was that to do. Uh, down here, any more bones? No. No, nothing there. Any place else around the island? Let's go up here. Yep, there's bones there. Okay. Alright, I guess that's it. Yeah. So we are where? There we are. And let's go see those other two islands before we're done. Whoa, that was fast. Drop it on the deck. Whoo! Um, let's go unload some things in case I need to pick things up real quick. Eggs, water landed in there. You landed there. Eggs landed in here. They did. So up there, toss you. And that is it in there. Toss the milk, the burnt foods, and I guess it doesn't really matter what I carry on me or not. Unless when you die, that is a problem. Bones can go up in here. Let's get some of those things out of our inventory. You are those. Okay, feathers. We do have some. Where do we get the feathers? I don't know. I picked up eggs. I don't remember picking up feathers. Okay, you are bone. You are nothing else from there. You are that and that. And these could have gone down below. And what else? Um, you're full. You're full. So let's drop off a stack of 50 and drop off the coal. Don't need you right now. And then it's just this sort of stuff. Rope can go onto the rope tree and let's leave these other ones right here we'll keep the three and the four on us we'll keep the seven on us okay you can stay here and i guess that's enough we don't need planks we're pulling them out directly out of the pallets so let's go fill up the feeders and then move on to the other islands I am, what, close to an hour already. Hmm. I think that's a real hour, too. So, we'll see what it takes to fly over there. I did clip out, ah, oh, there's feathers. That's why the double flash when I go to pick up an egg and it doesn't happen. I'm picking up the feathers instead. I see. And if you guys don't kind of stay in one area, I'm going to be searching all over for these eggs. <laughs> Yeah, you do want to corral your chickens. No food in the trough. Yeah, that's the thing. I've got a lot of birds here. So we're going to have to make foods. Let's run across to you, fill up your trough, and then I will sail out to those other islands, and we'll, I'll meet you on the other side and show you what they are, and we'll make plans probably for, for the next episode. Up in here. Let's see this again. So we are there, yeah. Nothing else has shown up in our grid. Next time we'll probably pop into this one to see what happens. Do we get to see the whole grid or just the beginnings of it? So here and there. This does start to feel like you are piloting a real ship. The motions, I don't know, they, they feel realistic. And we got we got this little indicator here where zero is on our on our our wheel. Um, this is an interesting island coming up with multiple levels there. Huh. I wish I could make three hour episodes. I I could play this all into the night, because it takes a long time to edit and upload and all that, so I, I pay for it when I run long. Suddenly I've spent five hours trying to make a video. 
when you, when you add in all the extra stuff. Um, let's slow down the forward and continue the drop. Let's just see this guy. We'll pop over there real quick. So that's about like that. Let's there. Now we'll do the forward again. No animals are popping in. But there's a structure over here. Interesting. Let's stop here and let's just pop out and fly over. We're all stopped? Yeah, it looks good. There we are. So what is over here? Oops, oops, oops. There we go. So, stone. Ooh, watermelon. Oh, good stuff. What else is around here? Well, let's let's kill the music. A leaf Bermuda sail. I don't know. What does that mean? And I, yeah, there's round walls we got to look at too. Oh, look at you. The junk sail. Right and left. Poor quality sail used to propel an island given a shape. It has excellent durability and high cost. Poor quality must mean we must have the ability to make these out of linen later. A better quality, but excellent durability and high cost. Okay. That would be good to eliminate a bunch of our seven sails and maybe put four of these guys up. Right and left, though. Okay. So we'll just, yeah, we can aim them out the sides. Okay. So that's good. Now, building materials. We've got, ooh, the round foundation and floor and walls and doors. And doors will give you multiple variations? No, at least not yet. Okay, so beyond that, over here, all the posts are over in this area now. And the doors are, so if you go searching for your doors. <laughs> so eventually there could be multiple pages of these guys. Okay, well that looks good. Oh, over here we got the round roof. But only round circular, or flat, horizontal. Not round tilt. So we still can't do the gazebo-like thing there. Okay, what is on this other island? Um, anything else to do here? Let's run this one real quick. Uh, looking for bones, looking for other vegetables or fruits that... Yeah, over the side, there's just one little... Right down here. Nothing. And we're done. Okay. That's our island. This is the new one. Let's see what this structure is. And more birds. Down. Let's do the other down. Oh, okay. We're there. That was difficult. It's more difficult than you think. <laughs> Oh, I have no idea. I wish it also looked like a face mask. Actually, it looks like, um, oh, what's that black stone in Minecraft? Um, yeah, I'll think of it. Bone meal? It looks like bone meal. Looks like some kind of grain. I wish it would give us the names from this point in the chest. But we've got to do this. Then we've got to go out back in and find it. Obsidian, that's the word I was thinking of, yeah. So, we have an obsidian shard. So, is there obsidian on this island? Let's see what else is here. This an actual pathway leading us inward into a, a mine? Kind of wonder what the history is. And I guess the next update is also going to include a little more background into things like that. We've got uh, garlic. Good. Um, blue flower. Getting dark. A little more of the background as to, you know, what what's going on here. Can I fly? Nope. Let's get out here a little bit easier. Try and do it quickly before we run out of daylight. I want to get up a little higher. Let's up a little higher. W. Oh, that's what I'm looking for and drop but all the pathways on this this one has been civilized it has been you know intentionally constructed 
the torch we found it okay next episode will be uh, can I build tell me there's a wall version I need linen Ooh. okay but we don't have the linen equipment yet so we just got teased at unless I find linen all right, so up here, interesting pathway, and potentially things in the dark that we're not going to be able to see yet. We'll start here next time. I just want to do a quick run through and see if anything shows up that looks fascinating. No, I think that was the, uh, the big discovery of the island. Okay, yeah, we'll come back tomorrow and search this more thoroughly in the daylight. But for now, I'm going to call this done right here. There's the moonrise. So, thanks for watching, folks. Sorry we lost some, some video there, but um, leave me any questions. If there's something else you want to explain that I forgot to recap, that you noticed was new and I didn't realize you didn't see it. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. Bye-bye now.